Hi, I'm Candy. Welcome to my channel here at Chasing Tumbleweeds Homestead. This first video is just going to be an introduction to who we are, what we're doing here in our homestead, and what you can expect of our channel. We are a four generation family. Um, we're all working together to try to become as self-sufficient as possible. We really enjoy raising our own food, processing our own animals, and just knowing where and what is in the food that we eat. Um, so we've been homesteading for about 10 years. We started off with two dairy goats. The price of milk was $5 a gallon. We had two teenage boys and two preteen girls living at home. And I was blown away with trying to buy a gallon of milk every day. So I asked my husband, I was like, maybe we should get a milk cow. <laughs> and he rightfully was like, you're crazy. And um, knowing what I know now, I agree with him wholeheartedly. But he did uh, ask, what about goats? You want some goats? And I was like, well, what do you do with them? <laughs> and he, um, you know, we looked it up and how you milk them. And, you know, they require less feed and less land um, and would give us more of the amount of milk that we would need for our family. And so we got a gallon of milk from a friend who had goats and put it in the fridge in a regular gallon jug and my kids drank it they had no idea it was not cow's milk and so i was sold i was like okay let's do it let's get some goats we found two nannies that were in milk they were middle aged girls um very very well trained i mean we could throw a pan of grain on the ground sit there without them even being tied up and milk them every morning and every night they were so gentle and so sweet and i fell head over heels in love. Uh, I had always wanted to be a farmer growing up. That was always my dream to have my own animals and raise horses. And so having these goats just really brought back to life that dream of when I was younger. And so I started looking up what it, what it was that I wanted to do. Homesteading was not even in my vocabulary at that point. Um, but when I did, I was like, hey, I already do most of this stuff. Um, you know, I've always made my own bread and cooked from scratch, was very frugal, made my own cleaning supplies, made my own laundry soap. Um, I was very Kim free and very um, crunchy even, even, you know, 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago when my kids were growing up. Um, I homeschooled them all. We lived a very eclectic lifestyle. Most people thought I was crazy. <laughs> I've been into prepping since the whole Y2K thing. And so adding the animals to that was really just a natural progression to what I was already doing. So we have goats now and then we got chickens and we got rabbits. And my daughter, she really, she always loved horses. And so we finally was like, okay, you know, you've did really good helping with the other animals. If you can save up the money, you can get a horse, but you've got to be the one to take care of it and feed it. And she was 13, totally doable for her. And so she did it. She, in three weeks, she worked in our tiny town. Now you've got to understand there's 80 people in this town total at the time. And um, she would go around and ask people if she could pull weeds in their yard and they would pay her. And you know, she would tell them, oh yeah, I'm saving up for a horse or whatever. And and I kid you not, in three weeks, she had $1,000 saved. It was insane. And I was like, I, we were not ready for that. But, you know, we, we stuck to our bargain and she found this horse that she wanted and we brought Cisco home. Now, Cisco was, at the beginning, a high-strung boy. <laughs> Did not have a slow speed. Um, and she broke her arm the first time she really rode him at the house. Um, but the next day she was back out there with one arm in a sling and she was backing him up between two hay bales. And I think from then they were the best of friends. So we have been so fortunate and we maybe just so much luck in the first animals that we got and just them being such a wonderful learning tool and experience for us. Um, so fast forward. <laughs> about seven years. We had a really, well, maybe five years, but a really great job opportunity. We moved out to the country. We worked at this place and um, was able to have our animals and it worked out really well for the first couple years. Then our kids grew up, they got their own jobs and um, 
the job that I was working, it really expanded. And so my time got less and less and less that I could spend on the homestead and my, my family's time was also less. And so really quickly, um, I got burnt out. My health started to fail. And I told my husband, we've got to change. Like this is not, not the lifestyle that we envisioned when we started this. And so I always keep that in the back of my head that, you know, things do change, but you have to be open to the possibilities that maybe really great opportunities are not what's best for your family. Um, and so we moved back into town, again, same tiny town, and we took a couple years off. We've really, in those two years, really went so mainstream. I mean, we're doing processed box foods, we're back to drinking Mountain Dew, we've, you know, we bought a house, so we have a mortgage for the first time ever. We've always just bought really cheap places and fixed them up, but we actually have, you know, we have payments now. And uh, we both work, my husband and I both work, work full time. Our kids all work full time. Um, they're all grown up. I have, we have one 19 year old at home still. Um, but we really last year just took a look around us and was like, you know, we really miss the animals. Um, we miss our chicken eggs. We miss being able to go out and get fresh milk if we needed it. Um, and <clears throat> Honestly, we just missed the animals themselves. Um, it is such a relaxing thing to have, and maybe not for everybody, but for us, that it, it is, it's, it's a part of who we are. And so we got four kinder goats last fall. Those are a mixture of Nubian and Pygmy. I'll get more in depth about them in another video, uh, but they're a meat and dairy goat. And we thought that would be a great place to start. They're a smaller goat, so they, they eat less food. Um, and again, they're meat and dairy, so it's a really great thing for us to have in our little small, in our small two and a half acres. Um, we got some chickens, they're laying now, and we're getting ready to hatch some eggs um, here in a couple weeks. And we got silver fox and rex rabbits for meat. We do have dogs. I raise copper spaniels on a small scale um, as as my wait list is full is when I breed them. And we really wanna switch them over off of the kibble and onto a real food diet. And so with our chickens and rabbits, you know, that's gonna help definitely lessen the cost and provide them what I feel is going to be a better diet. Um, I've did a lot of research into it. So hopefully when we get to that point, we'll move really slow and, and that will help bring our self-sufficiency even closer. Um, inside the house, we'll be teaching you how to make chemical free cleaning products, laundry soap that works even when you have, you know, grease and dirt and, and poop from the animals on your clothes, um, stuff that really works and, you know, still smells really good too. Uh, farm to table food and recipes. A little bit of hunting stuff, um, venison recipes and things like that, make ahead meals, and of course canning. We will have an extensive garden this year. We have a place started from last year, so we'll be expanding on that. And we do have an orchard that we planted when we first when we first moved back into town. So this is its second year, and we're hoping that we will be getting some really great fruit off of it this year. So that's a little bit of an overview. You'll also see me homeschool, preschooling our three-year-old grandson and making breads and a lot of just down home what, what homesteading means to me um, videos. So I hope you'll join us. I'm really excited for this next year and our adventure and our journey into self-sufficiency. And I hope you are too. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks so much.